All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 43. All right. So even though we added our button below the text input, uh, they appear next to each other on the page. Yes, they do. Uh, that's because both input and button elements are inline elements, which don't appear on new lines, all right? Uh, the button we added will submit the form by default. However, relying on default behavior may cause confusion. So we're gonna add the type attribute with the value submit on the button to make it clear that it's a submit button. All right, so we talked about the submit uh, attribute in the last, pardon me, the submit value of the type attribute in the last video. So that's what we're gonna do right here. We're gonna say type equals type equals string submit like that. And now it just knows for sure that it's the submit button. We still gotta fill, fill this stuff out. Uh, but when we do that, it goes to the fake page like that. So let's uh, check the code, looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 44 and we'll see you next time.